Hey YouTube, so uh, I've been wanting to do a garden update, but I still haven't showed you everything that I've planted so far. So instead of showing you the garden, which is pretty much overgrown and been blown around from storms, I'm going to show you some of the other some of the other plants. Uh, this is my topsy turvy tree. I wasn't going to use it this year, but I needed some plants in a small space so it seemed like the best thing to do. Here I've got my AG Dolls peppers which are starting to come along. They weren't doing very very well when I transplanted them. Uh, here these are my these are the Polish linguisas and I've even got a nice looking Polish linguisa and they got two mosquitoes flying on me great. Um, it's been a bad year for mosquitoes. Here I've got casino chips or Thessaloniki uh, tomatoes and here I've got either Thessaloniki or casino chip tomatoes. And there's a tomato on it. So that's either a, it's either a cherry tomato or, man, if I can get that in there, it's either a cherry tomato or a Thessaloniki. I, I'm not sure. I'll know in a few weeks. Uh, next, I got Rutgers right here. And I've got Santa Fe Grand Peppers. And I've got Facing Heaven Peppers. And last but not least, <clears throat> Rio Grande tomatoes. I really honestly didn't think this little guy was going to make it and I'm still going to be surprised if I actually get some tomatoes out of this. So anyway, that's all that I've got planted in here. I've actually got quite a bit and it's looking really good. So anyway, moving on to the next thing. So up here at the top of the garden or at the top of the yard, I've got the small little square and this is by far the most ignored part of my garden I have okay I've got German Johnson that I squeezed in here they're not doing great but they're doing all right and beside it these are I, I'm not sure which is which yet but I'm pretty sure that these are the uh, uh, Black Beauty Zucchinis. And then over here, I think this is Alpine Alpine Squash. Acorn Squash, sorry about that. Acorn Squash. Um, I can, the only way I can tell that is because it's growing out like a vine. It's actually growing kind of like the Butternut Squash. But I didn't plant any Butternut Squash here. So it's got to be the acorn. <clears throat> Over here, these I don't I don't know why I, I I planted these like this because I love these tomatoes. These are the uh, watermelon bee steaks, and they're actually starting to do a little bit better. They weren't taking the transplant too well, so that's a big plus. But anyway. That's that's all I've got planted up here. Is the two squash plants? Well, I got I got three zucchinis, but I've got the one acorn, and I got three uh, watermelon beef steaks, and that one German Johnson. But even even ignoring everything, they're all doing pretty good up here. So that's a big plus. And I believe I got one other thing to show you. Okay, this is the last thing I've got to show you. And this is the early Siberian tomato plant. It's it's practically falling over with tomatoes. And I've been this is actually the one I've been eating the most off of. Um, I did get to try one of the OSU blues, and they're they're good, but they're not. They're not outstanding. Hopefully they'll get better as they go. But 
zoom in here so you can see everything. I've got, this thing is loaded with tomatoes. And this is actually going to be the next tomato that I do a review on. In fact, I'm going to pick one of these. And this will be my next video. I'm going to do a, a early Siberian review. They're actually better than I expected them to be. And they're a very prolific plant. Hopefully you can see that without my shadow being in there. It's 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 falling over with tomatoes. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on these next. So hope you enjoy.